uh, companies started by scientists have higher uh, success rates, definitely in the healthcare space. With the healthcare space, there's many different things you have to think about. There's the pure science, there's the a lot of stakeholders, there's the patients, there's the hospitals, there's the industry. So for me, it all starts with education. I studied in uh, the University of Leuven uh, in Belgium. I did some business education at LSE. In Leuven, I studied as a PharmD, uh, in this industrial pharmacist, essentially. I studied some law as well, and I essentially went, um, I did my thesis at Max Planck in Germany. So to have a lot of exposure, not just in your own country, but in different kind of countries. And number two, to have really a good and deep scientific background uh, before you embark uh, in doing business in the, uh, in the healthcare space. Okay, the healthcare space, you have to, for example, see the problem and you have to discover the opportunities. What we've seen as a problem was the data in hospitals how very unstructured and unused that information is. It's kind of scattered over so many different databases in clinical notes, for example, of the doctors in laboratory data. Every single lab has their own formats in uh, machine data output, all of that. And so this is kind of seeing a problem, but then you also have to see on the right side, the opportunity. It is uh, also important to have really, really good knowledge about the healthcare space. There are many other regulations you need to have the buy-in of the hospital. They need to allow you to do so. And you also need uh, someone that is essentially driving the process. And for example, the industry partners. So you need to have a really good knowledge about all of the uh, essentially stakeholders in the healthcare system to make this work. You need to really figure out how all of the healthcare ecosystem works and then make sure that you have the right entry points there and that you don't step on anyone. So you need to have people that have the right mindset that can drive the company. And on the other hand, you need to bring in some people with really great knowledge that can fuel your company also with knowledge and experience. For me, what's most important is sector knowledge. So you need to know where uh, you're working in. It's very, very complex. There's a lot of new technologies. You need to be on top of what happens there. You can have an ID. But of course, if you have an idea and it's not validated by your sector knowledge, it doesn't mean too much. And then you have to assemble the right team with the right mentality, uh, put in place the right plan and get essentially the right investors to execute on that. The right team, of course, is like so, so important to have good execution on that plan and to make sure that you're on track. So all of these kinds of things for me are one of the core things in, uh, in building a company. And I think that looking at, for example, this program is that um, looking at all of the modules that essentially you see within the program, uh, you're essentially ticking all of those boxes. It's really great to get in contact with people with the right mindsets that are in the program that all want to build a company or do something together. And number two, that uh, you can validate, you can create and generate ideas. You can validate it with professors and with the staff. You can work on it. You have the time, for example, to essentially with a curriculum with instead of your thesis, you can really uh, start your own business plan and you can do that and you can get in touch with a huge network of ESAP, uh, which includes a lot of pharma companies, investors and everyone. So I think um, from that, if I would have had the chance to join that so many uh, years ago, that would have been uh, my ideal start. So very happy to, to have uh, Frederick and Dominique introduce the program itself. Mm -hmm.